Huh? We know that Papa is a great guy, and we know he only have a life plate on it. You said, he wait a minute, say what now? That car he's driving does not even have a license plate on it. He's been driving around with a paper tag on it so long until you can't even read the writing on the paper tag. And uh, <laughs> he bought that car. I was told that was the second one he done had, that he got the original, that, um, that he got that car from a person that does repossessions. And somehow or another, that car, they can't get a license plate for the car. The company is under investigation by the feds. Child. So who said they said, well, you probably couldn't tell me about who told you about the uh, the medications and stuff like that. That's, that's a whole hot mess. I told y'all. I told y'all. I, I, t- think that, well, I, I, I just don't want to put the person in it, but they know for a fact because they said it. They got a hotel room for him for, for a week because he was, he had, he was being put out and he had a bag of medication and he was down to 120 pounds and they said when they walked out to the car it was literally a stench of rot coming out of the car mm. and they told them to go park somewhere and let them get rid of their customers and then they'll call them and see what they could do for them mm. that's a shame you done done so much dirt you don't nobody want to help you don't nobody want to be seen with you that's crazy And the only thing he concerned about is going to Joyce and get some hats. That's dumb as hell. What he need to be more concerned about is getting his health in order. With his bag of medication. Hold on a second, baby. Hold on a second. And see, he's done so much dirt and so much crazy stuff to people. It's like people are so willing to just say everything about him that he's done and how they don't even like him. And I'm just like, I'm like, this is what you get. And he wonders why everybody hates him. I'm like, dude, what do you mean? You don't know why everybody hates you. I don't feel sorry for him. I don't. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you're a complete mess and a fool. And you talk about people. And I'm saying to myself, see, I got folks now that are looking, trying to figure out who he really is because they're just like, okay. Your name is William G. McCready III, but you're not named after your daddy. So are you named after your uncle, your granddaddy? Who you named after? Or are you adopted? Because one girl inboxed me said, uh, one, one lady told her that that was her brother. And they were both adopted. He said, what baby? A lady had inboxed me, which I, I'm not sure about it, but she inboxed me and said that a friend of hers told her that that was her brother. Mm-hmm. And that they were adopted. Oh, could be. That's could what I said. I said could be. Because I know George told me a long time ago that she knew that his pal, his dad, he, well, she didn't say she knew. She said that she was told that his dad was a pastor, but he didn't know was he coaching or Baptist. He Baptist. Well, the the daddy that um, don't don't uh, don't talk to him, he Baptist. Now his spirit, his so called spiritual father, Reverend Mac. He uh he's non-denominational Pentecostal. Okay. Miss Williams a hot mess. Honey, he's she done broke so she done broke so many strings. Mm-hmm. And this is a, uh, right, and this is what's left of him. Just a bag of bones. Hey, what's up everybody? Hope all is well with you. Listen, make sure you hit that notification thing down there. And also hit that bell, okay? Hit that bell so that you're never left out, you're never confused, you're never wondering as to what I posted, was I on, or are you guys lost, or, hmm. And what is King really doing, okay? Just make sure I hit that notification. And make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Talk to you later.